Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so excited to be filming today. It's been about two weeks now for me and I'm just so ready to get back to wearing makeup and filming it. I'm so excited. Today we're going to do a full face of Clinique makeup. I've been wanting to do this for a few weeks and I've kind of been accumulating some things. They had a sale recently and I picked up some more things so I would have enough to do a full face. So that is what we're going to do today. No one talks about Clinique so I'm excited to try out a bunch of their products. But if you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. I'm back officially. I am so excited to film today. I don't think I've been this excited to film a video in a long time. Not just because of the video we're going to be doing, but just because I just want to get back to my filming routine. I've just had, it's been an interesting last few weeks, but I'm back feeling much better, so I cannot wait to film this video. So today, like I said, we're going to be doing a full face of Clinique makeup. So I have a bunch of things from Clinique in this little basket, and actually most of this will be first impressions as well. I have not tried most of these things. There's a few things I have tried before, but most of it is new to me. Okay, we're gonna get started with foundation, and the one that I have is not new to me. I have tried this before, but it's the Even Better Glow Foundation from Clinique with SPF 15, yes, SPF 15. I had this up quite a while ago, a few years ago, back when I first started YouTube, um, and I liked it. I ended up decluttering it. I don't know why, to be honest, because I'm pretty sure I liked this, but I got it again recently. So this is what it looks like. I feel like much like a lot of the Clinique products I'm gonna talk about today, and Clinique in general, I feel like I just don't hear much about them. And this foundation, Even Better Glow, I actually thought might be discontinued. So it's just in a squeeze bottle. And I have the shade Bone, which is typically a pretty good match for me. I don't have any self-tan on or anything right now, obviously, since I've been having uh, major skin issues. For about two weeks so this should be a pretty good match for me and if I remember correctly this is a pretty light coverage product I want to say it's like a light medium coverage and I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 106 brush to blend this in I went through and washed all of my makeup brushes I would start fresh with everything all nice and clean. Okay, yeah, definitely a good shade match for me. I've been wanting to film this video for such a long time, and I've just kind of been collecting things for a few months, and then recently, a week or so ago now, maybe two weeks ago, Clinique's website, they had like 30% off everything. So I ordered the stuff that I didn't have to be able to do this video. So that was just that one layer. As you can see, it's not a lot of coverage, but it's very pretty, very glowy. We're gonna see, I can't remember if this is buildable or not, so I'm gonna take what's left on the back of my hand and we'll see if it's buildable. Yeah, I'm so excited about this video. I feel like Clinique is just one of those brands that you just don't hear very much about here on YouTube at least. Okay, so it definitely is buildable. I would say this, I would say is like a light medium coverage. Definitely, I don't think you're going to get much more than this though, so if you like a lot of coverage, this is probably not going to be your favorite, and if you also have 
oily skin this might not be your favorite because it is quite glowy as you can see but it's very very pretty I feel like this would be really good for more mature skin especially if you struggle with dryness I feel like this would be something to look into but no one ever talks about it so so far so good with this I am gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of corrector under my eyes I think Clinique has a corrector I could not find it um, I wonder if it's been discontinued but I feel like it used to come in like a little tube like a squeeze tube but when I was looking on the website I didn't see it but I could have missed it I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and apply my corrector and then we'll move on to concealer for concealer I have the even better all over concealer and eraser so this is their newest concealer it's not super new but I've never tried this before so this will be a first impression and I have the same shade which is bone so this is what it looks like I honestly don't know a whole whole lot about this concealer it does say on the back it's supposed to be full coverage with a natural finish which I love a natural finish so we will see but yeah I don't I just don't know much about this product so that's what it looks like it has a little round doe foot applicator so let's see what we think Ooh, okay okay initially just from swatching it or not swatching it but applying it under my eyes you know what this reminds me of the Kosas concealer the feel of it at least it's that really thin hydrating like serum -y texture I really hope this is good it does have this little sponge thing on the end I don't think I would ever use that I don't know if that's meant to be used under the eyes or maybe like for spot concealing on your face I don't know I'm gonna use a brush because that's what I like okay I'm gonna use my fo3 from Sigma blend it out really easily I will say this color I think they describe this as warm neutral like in the shade description and I feel like it definitely leans more warm than it leans neutral I almost feel like this is more warm than the foundation and it's the same shade. I'm loving how easy this blends though. I, I mean this really reminds me of the Kosas concealer. Yeah, it even looks like the Kosas concealer under my eyes. It's pretty dewy and hydrating for sure, but it looks nice. I don't know about full coverage. It says full coverage, I would call this a medium coverage. I'm gonna take a little bit on this spot right here. So this was where I had one of the ringworm spots. You can still kind of see it. I'm gonna add a little bit there. I have a little bit of a spot left there. Luckily, most of the spots have healed almost completely, thank goodness. I'm gonna blend this in with my same BK Beauty brush. Yeah, I definitely don't think this is full coverage, just FYI. Because I added that to my cheek area, I feel like it didn't add much coverage that wasn't already there, but it is pretty. I like the finish, but not sure about the coverage. Still looks good under my eyes though. I kinda wanna do powder. I'm gonna go out of order here. So we're gonna use a little bit of this. This is the Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder. And this is the shade Stay Cream. This is what it looks like. I have never tried a powder from Clinique before. So it's just in a little compact. And it does come with a mirror and a little sponge. Probably not gonna use the sponge, but this is what it looks like. It's like a pretty good color. 
I'm just going to kind of tap over my face. So I'm going to start in the center of the forehead. Okay, that definitely mattified my forehead a little. I'm going to take it on the cheek and on the side of my nose. That definitely mattified that side quite a bit. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I feel like this color is pretty good. Again, this is number 18, Stay Cream. I did have trouble picking some of the shades online. I feel like that's something about Clinique that is a little bit iffy is their shade range. Yeah, it looks good. It does not look powdery at all. And it didn't take away all the glow, just, uh, just kind of toned it down a little. Then I got the True Bronze Powder Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. Um, there were two shades. I think this was the darker one of the two, I want to say. I could be wrong on that. So this is what it looks like. I'll swatch it for you. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh, it's very silky feeling. So that's the color. It has shimmer in it like you can see the shimmer in the pan but then in the swatch you really can't like you can't see the shimmer much i'm gonna use this makeup by mario brush it's the f2 the double ended so you have a smaller end and a larger end i'm gonna use the larger end This is a really, really pretty color. I can see why the reviews were good already on this. Okay, yeah, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful color bronzer and it's blending really easily. That's interesting. In the pan, it looks like it might be Kind of dark but then when you put it on it's not dark at all I mean it isn't like super fair or anything but it's definitely not as dark as you might think when you look at it in the pan I'm gonna bring some on the jawline bring some on the sides of my nose yeah this is good I can definitely see why the reviews were good on this. Wow, I was not expecting that. I mean, I thought it would probably be good, but the color on this is really nice. It's kind of warm, but it also has a little bit of that red undertone to it, so it looks very, very much like a natural tan. I like this. Then this I'm really excited about. I actually found this at Marshall's for $8.99 and I was so excited. So this is one of the chubby sticks for the face. So it's a cream blush. I think this is kind of one of the things Clinique is known for, the chubby sticks. Like they have these for your face and they have chubby sticks um, like lip crayons. And I think they have, or they do, yeah they do because I bought one, chubby eyeshadow sticks too. But this is one of the cream blushes in the shade Amped Up Apple. So I found this at TJ Maxx, or not TJ Maxx, Marshalls. And I was so excited. In fact, if you want anything from Clinique, always check your Marshalls TJ Maxx, especially right now. For some reason, they've had quite a bit of Clinique stuff. Ooh, that is a really pretty color. Look at that. Ooh, I love that. And this was only $8.99 there. So if you find Clinique, it's usually a pretty good price there. I think I'm just going to use my same BK Beauty brush. And okay, we're going to experiment. I'm going to draw it on on one side and then I'll get it right directly on the brush on the other side. I don't know how pigmented they are so or how easy they are to blend 
Mm. You guys know how I am about blush. Okay, love. Do you see that color? I mean, I do. I do love a cream blush, but oh man, I love that color. So it's definitely not like super intense pigment. So it's not like not like the rare beauty blushes where you have to be really really careful. But that color is stunning. Love that. Okay, let's do some on the other cheek, but I'm gonna get some on the back of my hand and kind of build it up on the brush. And tap it in. It's very, very easy to blend, like very, very blendable. Definite win on this one, I love this. I, this would be really pretty on the lips too, for sure. Okay, this I've used before. I don't really need it, but I'm gonna apply some anyway, but the Cheek Pop blush in the shade Nude Pop, I got this a while ago and I loved it immediately. And I really don't need any, but I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on over. If you haven't tried this, uh, blush formula from Clinique, the cheek pops, you need to. It's so good. They kind of remind me of the Buxom primer infused blushes. That's what these Clinique ones remind me of, except the Clinique's I feel like are just a little more sheer. The Buxom ones are pretty pigmented. But I love, love, love this so much. I almost ordered another color of that during the sale, but I was like, Blair, you don't need another one. All right, this next thing was actually a free gift with purchase. When they were doing this sale, they had a few different products you could choose to get for free if you spent, I think it was, if you spent $100, maybe it was $75, I can't remember. But I got this Powder Pop highlighter in the shade Lunar Pop. Okay, this is what it looks like. So it's in kind of in that same blush packaging but larger. And it has the cute little flowers imprinted on it, which is so cute. I don't really need any highlight, but we're gonna apply some anyway. I'm gonna use this Anastasia. What is this? The A23. It's pretty, but I already have so much glow on my cheeks. It's hard to tell what's like from the highlight and what was already there. I need to use this with something that's not so, so glowy. The color is pretty though. Hmm, I don't know. I didn't buy this. This was free, like I said, but kind of pretty. I did get, let's see, where is it? That's not it. This, the Quick Liner for Brows. So I've never tried any brow products from Clinique. And this one is the shade Soft Brown. So you have the spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other. Okay, yeah, this is really tiny. So the point looks like that. Very, very small. Okay, the color looks pretty good. That is it right there. I don't have a brow gel from Clinique. I just have the pencil. And I typically like to apply my brow gel first. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this NYX one. And then we'll fill them in. Okay, so I'm gonna fill them in now with this pencil. I always kind of struggle with trying new brow products when I do videos like this. Just because when you find brow products that you like and they're like a good color for you and you like the formula, it's kind of one of those things that you don't really want to mess with, you know what I mean? But I think this is going to be, yeah, this is a good shade for me. 
I was kind of worried about this when I ordered it because I wasn't sure. Ooh, yeah, that color is fantastic for my brows, like almost identical. It's very easy to use too. It's creamy, but it's not too creamy. It's still waxy enough, but not like too waxy. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I like, love this. <laughs> This is so funny. This was like one of the things I wasn't really sure about when I made my order. I thought about just using the brow pencils that I already have because, like I said, sometimes you don't like want to mess around with trying new brow products. This may be the best match ever for me in a brow product. And the formula I really like. I wasn't expecting to get so excited about a brow pencil. All right, let's move on to the eyes. I have a few eye products that I'm super excited to try. The first thing is the chubby stick for the eyes. So this came in a bunch of colors. I got a really light shade just to basically kind of use as an eyeshadow base all over. This one is called Bountiful Beige. So it's just like a little crayon. So it looks like the cream blush that we used. So that's it right there. It's just a really light, kind of a beigey, obviously, color. It does have a little bit of, sh it's not really shimmer. It's just kind of a little, little bit of an iridescence to it, I guess. But what I was thinking was I'll use this as a base kind of all over. Now I'm just going to kind of blend it out with this Ariel brush. This is the A20 from the Morphe collection. Okay, so it's very, very light on me. Very light. I mean, it adds just like... A small small bit of color um, so nothing super crazy but I always do like to have products like this that you can just kind of throw on they did have a bunch of shades in this though um, and I have actually seen a few of these at Marshall's TJ Maxx recently as well but they're not usually shades that I would personally use and then for the eyeshadow, I'm really excited about this. I don't know why, I'm just really excited. So this is one of their shadow quads. And they have a bunch of these. Actually, there were quite a few that I like the colors. But I went super neutral. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. But I knew this was something that I would actually wear. So funny, they still come with these little... What are these called? Like these eyeshadow things? I don't know, does anybody actually use those? But look at this. It's just like the perfect little quad. So you get a cream, you get two kind of transition shades, I guess, and then a more dark brown. So they even give you like a little thing here that shows you like where you're supposed to apply each color. Okay, yeah, so they're saying to use this as a brow bone highlight. Looks like this as your crease color, this in the outer corner, and then this as liner. So I guess that's what we'll do. Not that you have to follow what it tells you to do, but we'll try it. So I'm gonna take this shade, which is just a light brown, and we'll use this as the transition shade. I'm curious about this because I've, again, never tried Clinique eyeshadow. Love that color. I mean, it's just a basic neutral transition shade, but that blended and applied really, really well. Now, let's see. It says to use this shade in the outer corner, so this kind of a little more cool-toned brown. So I'm going to use this BK Beauty 202 brush and go into this shade. I'm just kind of tapping it. 
not super like in your face pigment but obviously this is meant to be a very neutral everyday color scheme okay I will say these shadows are blending really easily they're not super opaque like they don't pack a punch initially but they are blending really well I mean the quality seems really good Okay, then it says to use the light shade as a brow highlight. I don't always do a brow highlight, but I guess we'll try it. So I'm going to take this cream and I'll apply a little bit of that. Do it. Does anyone do brow highlights anymore? I feel like I don't see that a whole lot anymore. Okay, I don't know if that did anything. And it's a good, really, really light cream. I don't know that you need to do it on your brow bone, but that's what they said. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. And then I have an eyeliner to use. So I don't want to use this brown as eyeliner like they're saying to. I think we're going to go in with the eyeliner and then I might even smudge it a little bit with that dark brown. But you guys... Okay, I have to tell you this story before we use this. So when I was just getting into makeup, and when I say getting into makeup, I mean when I first started wearing it, like, I don't know, when I was 14, 15, I guess, maybe a little before then, this was the eyeliner that I wore. This was the only eyeliner that I had, and it's just so nostalgic for me. I can't believe I used to have it, and then it dried up a while ago and I never bought it again but I was in the cosmetics company store that I talk about all the time and if you go in one of those stores they usually have a ton of Clinique makeup also and it's usually a pretty good price so just FYI but this eyeliner in the shade True Khaki so that's it there it's a kind of a mossy green this used to be the one and only eyeliner that I wore back when I just wore Bare Minerals powder. And I haven't used it in a very long time. So I'm just going to put this kind of on the outer half of my eye. Okay, and I can see already why I loved this. Okay, this eyeliner matches my eyes so well. Like, do you see that? It just makes my green, the green in my eyes really pop. Oh my gosh, now I'm going to want to wear this again for sure. Right, we'll do the same thing over here. This is a really nice eyeliner formula, FYI. Again, no one talks about this, but it's very good. Oh my gosh, this almost makes me teary-eyed. How sad is that? Makeup makes me teary-eyed, but it really does just, I can't believe this was the first eyeliner I ever used. I'm going to use this smudger on the other end and just kind of go over it. I mean, honestly, you don't really need to do this, but it is kind of nice to have if you want to. Okay, yeah, if you have green eyes... I feel like this is such a pretty shade. Even if you don't have green eyes, I feel like this would still be pretty. Because it's still neutral. It's not like emerald green. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. Okay, we don't really need any of that brown shadow. But I do just kind of want to use just a tiny bit. So I'm going to take this darker brown in the palette. And I'm going to use this tiny Morphe 213 brush. And I just kind of want to see what this brown looks like. I'm going to just kind of stamp it tiny, tiny bit on the very outer corner. I'm going to put just a little bit on my outer corner of the lower lash line and kind of Flick it up just a little bit. 
For mascara, of course, I had to get High Impact. I think this is the one they're known most for, I think. And this is the regular version in black brown, which I'm really excited about. I don't have many mascaras in a black brown, but I really prefer brown or black brown now in mascara. So this is what the tube looks like. I have used this a long time ago. I don't really remember much about it, honestly. It has a really good wand, yeah. So that's what the wand looks like, very basic. This is another thing on the website that had really, really good reviews. Okay, it's definitely a pretty dry formula, I would say. Not clumpy at all. Definitely, I would say, more separating and lengthening. I don't know that I think it's super volumizing. Let's put on a second coat of it. That looks really nice. I like that a lot. It's definitely one I feel like you have to kind of build up to get the impact, but it doesn't clump or anything like when I went in with the second layer. I wonder if this is one that would get better as it dries out. I don't know why. I kind of feel like it might be one of those. All right, and then last for the lips, I have one of their lip liners. So this is the quick liner for lips in the shade 40 neutrally. So that's what it looks like. Looks like it's a retractable lip pencil. Ooh, this color looks really good though. That's it, just a nice neutral pink. This is a good color, I love this. This actually came from um, the cosmetics company store, like I was saying earlier. I want to say this was on like their last chance table or something. I want to say I paid like $5 for this. Okay, and then for the lips, so I have a lip gloss. Where is it? This one. So this is the Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss in the shade Caramel Pop, which is a really light nude. Looks like that. But I also have Black Honey, which is probably their most iconic product. So that's Black Honey right there. This is one of those products. I think it went semi-viral on TikTok not that long ago. Uh, supposedly this color looks great on everybody. Let's apply a little bit of black honey. I feel like we have to. It doesn't look anything like it does in the tube on me. Looks almost more like a reddish berry color. And then maybe we'll just throw on tiny bit of this gloss just to try it out in the middle. Ooh, yeah, it's really light. Kind of toned down the color just a little bit. That's like a super, super light nude. I bet this would be pretty on its own too. All right, you guys, that is it for this full face of Clinique makeup. I wanted to kind of go through the products one more time kind of quickly and tell you what I think. So first up, the foundation. I personally really like this. If you like something really lightweight and you like it dewy, I think you would really like this. Definitely not something you're going to get a lot of coverage from. I mean, I feel like you either really like this type of product or you don't. But for me, especially for summertime, I think this is really pretty and I will definitely continue to wear it. The concealer. Okay, so here's what it looks like. My thoughts on the concealer are it's very pretty. It still has not really moved or creased weird. It still looks really good under my eyes, you guys. I do think still the color is a little bit weird. I feel like it's more yellow 
than that foundation in the same color. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I do feel like the color is off just a little bit. I feel like it looks a tad bit yellow under my eyes, but it's not bad. It definitely, definitely reminds me of the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I mean, even how it looks after it's been sitting since I've been filming this video for about an hour and a half or so, it really reminds me of that. So if you like the Kosas one, you would probably like this. I will say I think I like my Kosas shade a little bit better, which is 2.5C, but it's pretty. I like it. I don't think it's full coverage though. It does say it's full coverage. I definitely think this is a solid medium coverage. For the powder, I mean, I don't really know how to review a powder just on first impression, but it did exactly what I wanted, which was just kind of tone down the glow on my face. And I do think it looks nice. It does not look powdery at all. I feel like it did definitely kind of blur my T-zone area, like especially right here. It looks really good. I like it a lot and I'm looking up close in my little mirror here. So that I like, the color is good. Bronzer, 100% love. This will definitely be a new favorite powder bronzer for sure. I love the color, I love the formula. It was very easy to apply. It was not splotchy or difficult to blend. I mean, it went on really easily and the color is so pretty, so, so pretty. It's called Sunkissed. And I would agree that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a natural sun-kissed bronze, which I love. Blush. You saw my reaction to the blush. This uh, chubby stick. I would pay full price for this. I didn't. Like I said, I got mine at Marshalls. But this is very, very good. I love this. And I love this color. 10 out of 10 on this. I already knew that I loved the Cheek Pop blush, so that was not new. The highlighter, I didn't buy it. It was free, like I said, so I don't know that you like need, need to have this, but it's nice if you get it for free. The brow pencil. Okay, I truly was not expecting to like this this much, but I love this. The color is perfect. I mean, this color matches my brow hairs perfectly. And again, this is number three, soft brown. And the formula is good. It applied really easily. And I think my brows look really good today. So I really like this. The Chubby Stick in Bountiful Beige. This is okay. It just didn't give a whole lot of color really. I mean, I didn't think that it would give a ton of color, but I don't know. I feel like I kind of wanted a little bit more from this than I got, but it could just be this color. If I got a different color, it might be a lot better. I don't know. So this was just okay. And I think this is a beautiful eyeshadow quad. Yes, it is neutral. Yes, it is boring, but it's all matte shades. I love the quality so far. It blended really well and it applied perfectly. So this I was very, very impressed by and this was the shade Teddy Bear. Obviously, I love the eyeliner. Where is the eyeliner? This, so this is True Khaki. I, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but it just really brings out the green in my eyes. And that's why I wore it years and years ago. It hasn't changed. I still like it. And I'm so happy to have this back in my collection. The mascara, I also really like. I love the black brown color. I can definitely see myself reaching for this mascara a lot. Hopefully it doesn't smudge Today, I'm going to wear it all day, um, and I'll try to remember to put in the description box when I edit this if it smudges or not, but I like how it looks so far. The lip liner, I mean, it's nothing revolutionary. I'm pretty sure I got, I'm pretty sure I got this for like $5 at Cosmetics Company Store, I think, a long time ago, but it's a pretty color. It applied really well. I love this shade for sure, and neutrally. 
Black Honey is a classic and it's very beautiful. I like how it looks on me. I think this is nice. I feel like this would probably look good on most people, like they say. And then this is just a standard lip gloss. There's nothing like super stand out about it, but it's nice and I like it on top of that lipstick. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. This was so much fun. I love to do full face videos and I've really been excited about this one because no one talks about Clinique and hopefully you can see they do have some really good products. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends or anyone that you think might like this video or any of my other videos. Follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1 and I will see you next time for another video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.